Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. Welcome to our word of the day series where I've been taking your requests for words you'd like help to pronounce in American English. Today's request was for the word diminutive. So we'll break down this word, help you to pronounce it correctly, smoothly and easily in your everyday speech. So the word diminutive has second syllable stress. That means the min syllable is longer and the other syllables are shorter and have reduced vowels. The di um, beginning as a prefix when it's short does have the same i vowel as in the stress syllable. It's just going to be shorter. So I'm going to say i, i, di, mi, di, min, but this di is going to be light and short and my min is going to be a little bit longer in duration. One thing that can help with second syllable stress words is trying to say the word without that first unstressed syllable first. So for example, I would say min or minutive, then add my di, minutive, diminutive. That's going to help me get the rhythm and the pace of the word and make sure that I'm uh, quick and light on that first syllable. Oftentimes when we're uncertain about syllable stress, we tend to go with a clear vowel elsewhere in the word or by default with first syllable stress. And that um, strategy doesn't really serve us very well versus trying min, minutive, diminutive is a good strategy to use. Then we have, this is a word where the letter U says this, the sound U, meaning it has a glide and the U. So rather than um, words like new or food that just have u, diminutive is more like a word like few or menu, which have the u in it, diminutive, diminutive. Um, I did write u, but we actually have instead of an u sound because this syllable is unstressed, it actually is more of a ya diminutive, diminutive. So that oo gets reduced to an ah in the unstressed syllable. Unlike menu, where we do use a clear oo, you, um, in diminutive, it's a, a schwa. And then our last syllable also has another lax i vowel that's short and light. I can say diminutive with a real t. You'll also hear it said with a flap t, diminutive, diminutive that sounds more like a D. In this word, I would say you can probably use either, diminutive, diminutive. Um, other words that have flap T, like water, better, etc. cetera, um, Americans will almost always use that flap and it's better to, um, <laughs> not better, but more authentic, will fit in better with the accent, will be better understood by Americans if you use the flap. And a word like diminutive, diminutive, it's not going to make as much of a difference at the end, um, probably because it has multiple syllables there. If you're working on your flap T anyway, then you can use more of that flap light D here, diminutive. When I can say diminutive by itself, easily, quickly, and naturally, I want to start trying to use it in some short phrases because it won't necessarily happen, um, or I might not be able to use it easily in my everyday speech without adding that level of practice. Um, so let me think. <laughs> Phrases don't come to mind immediately for a diminutive. Um, he was a diminutive figure, figure next to um, the great leader. Um, we had, um, it had a diminu diminutive effect on our overall results. Okay, um, thank you for that request. If you have a word or a phrase you'd like to see covered in our Word of the Day series or our Phrase of the Week series, do feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. And I also hope you'll join me on Fridays for our live question and answer class, where I take your questions live regarding American English pronunciation, American accent, and overall communication. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you wanna sound like a native speaker, you can do it, speechmodification.com. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.